Uh, good afternoon to you all and welcome to Dublin. And thanks, uh, Dennis, for such a warm welcome and such a wonderful setting. Distinguished colleagues, uh, I'm very pleased to be able to join you for this meeting of the Broadband Commission's Working Group on Finance and Investment. And I'm delighted that President Moreno and the Inter-American Development Bank has agreed to chair this working group. There is no doubt that finance and investment are important issues where broadband is concerned. Indeed, they are absolutely essential if we are to be able to unlock the full promise and potential of this transformative technology. We saw tremendous enthusiasm in this subject at our meeting in New York last September, and this comes as no surprise to me. Just 20 years ago, investments in telecom networks were the concern of governments alone. The changing nature of the sector, and in particular, liberalization, privatization, and competition increasingly shifted the responsibility towards industry. And over the past two decades, we have seen ICT networks become, becoming highly commercial enterprises. Today, however, in particular, following the credit crunch in the financial crisis and the financial crisis, there is general agreement that the public and private sectors are going to have to work hand in hand together if we are going to leverage the full benefits of broadband. This is partly due to the sheer scale of the subject. Broadband needs to become ubiquitous and affordable to all, and partly because today's networks are already being used for so much more than merely commercial ends, they are being used as platforms to deliver fundamental services such as education and healthcare. As you all know, I'm ambitious and I'm an optimist, and I expect a lot from this working group. I expect you to come with answers to some very important questions, such as, what are and what should be the core investment priorities and how should they be financed? How can we match the long-term needs of network planning with the short-term horizon of most investments? Who should pay? Should the industry be expected to shoulder the burden or invest of investing billions of dollars a year if that's where most of the rewards end up? Are there any promising new sources of financing that the industry can tap into? Another important question, and how can we carry out better funding gap assessments? Our experience at the Transform Africa Summit last October demonstrated the difficulties in getting accurate and meaningful data, and how can we improve that both, both at the local and regional level? These are some of the few questions that I have here, and I'm really expecting you, you, this group, to come up with some answers. Let me therefore ask this group to seize the tremendous opportunity we have here and get to grip with the issues at hand. And I look forward to seeing the positive outcomes from your work here in Dublin and moving forward over the coming months. I believe that this group will shape th this is the and the end, of a, the end of a cycle that we're moving toward in uh, really closing the loop in all of the issues that we have been involved into in this program commission. And I will just a uh, year before the Millennium Development Goals targets 2015, as you know. So as we're heading toward that, we need to come with uh, some very good proposals, and this group has already been very, very much good at uh, uh, the brainstorming that I've seen in these rooms uh, every time we meet. That's the thing that we're bringing to the world, and uh, I would like to really, again, salute and thank all of the uh, commissioners for their commitment in making this. So thank you very much.